Hey guys, welcome back to the Model Works. This is going to be my entry video for the 2016 Cancer Awareness Bill being hosted this time by Kenny, uh, Mindless Model Works, who is uh, taking the reins over for Cliff, uh, Roadhog 0822. Uh, had some, some other things come up and uh, couldn't, ha couldn't uh, handle hosting this, this time, so Kenny's been generous enough with his time and uh, to host this, uh, this year's Cancer Awareness Bill. Uh, I'll be doing the 37 Ford Convertible from Lindbergh. It's a, uh, this is a new, uh, it's a repop, this is a new release of an older kit. This is their newest uh, pop of it. Uh, pretty straightforward kit. It's a Lindbergh kit, as I said, and uh, I'm not going to do a review of it or anything. I, you've seen there's videos out there where other guys I've have done looked it. at the kit. It looks pretty straightforward. Uh, everything looks pretty clean. Really, you know, a good looking kit. Probably build it pretty much just box stock. May play around with the tire wheel combination a little bit. Uh, engine is, uh, we're going to leave that alone, just build it as is. It's a more of a modern looking engine. Clean, very clean in the engine bay. That's probably the way I will leave it. I probably won't do anything extra to it. Uh, I'll look at it. Maybe add some spark plug wires or, or something like that. But it's, with these modern engines, you know, you don't see a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of wires and hoses and stuff like you did, you know, back in the, back in the day in the 70s and stuff. So. Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be doing, and I'm going to be doing uh, for uh, my bill for the uh, for colon cancer, uh, mainly for my father-in-law who uh, passed away from from colon cancer. I actually, uh, uh, had two bouts of it. They, they went home and they recovered, and he. Uh, was kind of like a lot of us men are about going to the doctor. It's kind of like, uh, you know, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. Or at least you don't think it's broke, you don't fix it. So we are, you know, men are bad about going to the doctor when something, you know, rears its ugly head. And by that time, you know, uh, sometimes it's, it's something that, uh, you know, is so major that you've waited too long. And that's kind of what happened with him. He started having some problems and he went and it was already settled into it was already settled into uh, late stage three early stage four and, and he, didn't, uh, he didn't he didn't last too too long so uh, and uh, another person I'm gonna be doing it for is a friend of my wife's uh, that she volunteers at uh, volunteered at church with does some church work with and uh, she was in her early 50s, uh, I believe, maybe even late 40s. I can't, I can't remember for sure. But she uh, was having, uh, you know, a little bit of stomach disorder, and, and she just went in, kind of had that looked at and checked up. She hadn't had a colonoscopy, so they did that. They did one, and hers was already into stage three, and she, she lived maybe a year. Uh, it, it just went, you know, it went from bad to worse. So. And then one other person, a survivor that I work with at work, who uh, actually had uh, had it on both ends of his uh, of his colon. He uh, has since come back to work, and he's they seem to think that they got it all, and they're keeping. He has to go back, and they're doing a doing a colonoscopy every six months just to be on the safe side. And he's doing uh, he's doing quite well. So we're going to do it for you know a survivor and those and a couple of people who have lost their battle with it as well. Uh, so we'll be doing the uh, the dark blue, which is the color for colon cancer. Uh, going to be kind of like the box art, actually. Not The blue I'll be using won't be that, that shade of blue. and It, it, it won't be satin, but uh, kind of going to be doing that. Kind of be going with a leather, a, a light colored leather interior and convertible top. Probably just a solid blue color. I may change that a little bit. And like I said, I may change the wheels up, tires up. They, although these wheel, this white wheel tire combination 
actually looks pretty good with this particular body style and the way this this car sits and so we may stay with it I'm not sure we'll, we'll see as, as it goes along but at any rate that's going to be that's going to be my bill and I'll show you what uh, the uh, paint I'll be using this time will be this color blue this is uh, fingernail polish by Sally Hansen I got this at uh, I believe Walgreens uh, I like this color blue I've had it for a while it's called uh, blue my mind UV shooting some mind, darker so. colors over the Autoborn Cedar, and I love this stuff. This is really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna order some in larger bottles. Uh, but this goes for like six dollars and fifty cents. You know, with your forty percent off, you can, you know, you get it for, you know, four dollars or so. And uh, you cut this like twenty-five percent with. Uh, either their high performance reducer, 4012 high performance reducer, which I have some of that, and it works very well. Uh, and this is a waterborne sealer. Now, what you can do, what's neat about this is, if you are, uh, you can shoot this, you can shoot this and let it sit for like 24 to 48 hours, and then you can shoot solvent-based paint over the top of it. Even though it's water-based, it, it's able to withstand solvent based paint. Urethanes, I've shot House of Color on it just messing around with it. I've shot lacquer thinner mixed with enamel. I've shot just uh, lacquer paint shot over it. Uh, you can let it sit or you can sand it. Uh, you can dry sand it like with uh, like with 4,000, 3 or 4,000 grit sandpaper and dry sand it go over it with a tack cloth and get the dust off and you can go right over the top of it with the solvent based paint. So, uh, and this stuff lays down super smooth. Uh, so I've been trying that out, uh, black base with uh, like dark blues, reds, you know, burgundies, uh, you know, just different colors to see how it does over black base. Purple, dark purple. So, this is what we'd be doing for the uh, body color and then we'll be going uh, interior wise we'll be going with uh, probably this Craft Smart Fawn uh, which is a uh, which is pretty much a uh, just a, a leather type color so we'll be doing the interior with that and the convertible top so we'll be doing that combination uh, for the uh, for the colors and that's where we're Tomorrow, at tomorrow I believe is the first day of the bill and that uh, goes through November the 30th. So I hope everyone, the, those of you who have not uh, committed to participate, uh, go through your stash and grab your kit and pick out one of the cancers or, you know, pick out, uh, do one for the caregivers or for the childhood cancers. Those are, you know, you don't have to necessarily know anyone. But uh, at any rate, uh, that's all we got for now. Uh, until I talk to you again, take care of one another. May God bless you and your family. Don't take any crap from anyone. Talk to you soon.